Moody's has reported that we are about 17% behind on revenue collections, which could put a $1 billion to $1.5 billion hole in the budget at the tail end of this fiscal year, which would cause real chaos. The gross income taxes are dedicated to property tax relief uh, for the state of New Jersey. Where we get our school funding from, which we've heard a lot about shortages in the funding formula, and how it's having a net effect on schools, local municipalities, and also the energy gross receipts tax now are folded into that fund as well, which has been a fear of mine since the governor kind of raided the, the energy gross receipts tax fund and put that in the general fund, and now it has to be paid back to the municipalities through the gross income tax. So we have to keep a close eye on what's going to happen between now and the end of the year with regard to that fund. Regardless of how much we raise taxes, we outstrip the amount of revenue that comes in by spending more than we should. So as it stands right now in the current year budget, we're about 5% below our projected income tax receipts. Even with an increase of what they call the millionaire's tax, which we call a tax on success, and disincentivizing people to work harder. We have an out-migration of about $3 billion worth of income a year. So we raise tax rates and we don't catch up with any revenue growth because people are leaving because taxes are simply too high in New Jersey. And then we anticipate revenue at a certain level and don't make it and we spend more than we bring in and that's creating the hole that we're headed toward. If you look at February's jobs report, and a loss of 9,300 jobs in New Jersey. You look at the surveys of uh, the moving companies, the majority of the people who have left are leaving for jobs, for whatever reason. Certainly increasing the corporate business tax last year doesn't help promote or keep businesses here. And what happens is people across the spectrum of incomes are going to other states that are less expensive to live in and where their paycheck means more and the jobs went because we've taxed both people and jobs out of the state of New Jersey. If you're in a lower cost area to live and you're making the same amount of money, you're gonna live better. And it's, it's just common sense. People are gonna go where they can live better and feed their families better and, and have a better life.